is now joining us live. Chris, we're looking forward to this week, but as you said a little earlier, it might have a cool down in some areas. Uh, yeah, and we're starting off clear. This is a great camera. Look at the flags there, just kind of waving a little bit on the Capitol. That's sort of a, a sign that things will be changing as we go through uh, not only today, but more so tomorrow. So expect a little bit of wind uh, from time to time as our weather pattern shifts a little bit. Temperatures this morning, uh, teens and 20s, really, at every major station across the region, even a few places in the 30s, 34 at Salida, for instance. It's 35 up in Gillette, Wyoming, 30 in Ray, uh, 22 in Steamboat Springs, and 17 this morning in Aspen. Joe, our weather watcher in Arvada, was 30 at last check, and Melinda up the road in Boulder, 33 degrees. Good morning to you. A little bit of wind out here, a few pockets kind of hugging the higher elevations. This is really along and either side of the Continental Divide. Not too strong. We're talking gusts up around 20, 25 miles per hour. Every so often, uh, we've seen a little burst of really strong wind between between Black Hawk and Idaho Springs, and this is where we're seeing numbers between 30 and 50 for the gusts. So a little windy if you're heading up to play in Black Hawk or Central City today. Satellite and radar together. Most of us waking up with clear skies. We are seeing some clouds come into the western slope. These are mid and high level clouds. Even had a couple of little snow showers earlier. Those are kind of fading away, but they will come back as the storm system gets closer. It came on shore overnight and it is sitting here in Washington, Oregon, and California as we speak. Future cast tonight into early tomorrow. Snow will become widespread in the high country. So if you have some Monday morning travel plans, keep that in mind. For the rest of us, will be cloudy, but watch this. In the afternoon, we'll see scattered rain and snow showers developing here east of I-25. Unfortunately, some people will miss out, but we all have at least a small chance to get a quick rain or snow shower. Most of the snow accumulation will stay here in the higher terrain. No advisories in effect. This is not a big snowfall event, but there is a chance places along and east of I-25 could get a dusting to a quick inch if you get under one of those snow showers that pop up. Highs today, 30s and 4 40s in the high country and on the western slope, 50s on the eastern plains. And in the five day forecast, Dylan, it's the last day in the 50s. We'll drop into the 40s tomorrow with that chance for rain or snow. Back to 50 Tuesday, down to 43 Wednesday with another chance for a little precipitation. And then Thursday, we're going to start a warming trend that will take us all the way through the upcoming weekend. So these are not the biggest chances of precip, but considering how dry it's been, we'll take any chance we can get. You know, and some people were asking us online, you know, when it comes down to their lawn, it's been so dry. How do they, you know, go about watering that? I mean, is it safe to do that? I mean, usually the sprinklers are blowing out by now. Yeah, yeah. You need to get your garden hose out yeah. do a little <laughs> manual work uh, with air temperatures at 40 or up, mm -hmm. 40 or higher. But we do need to water trees and shrubs and stuff. Yes. All right, Chris, we're looking forward to the warm weather, but we'll also be watering that grass, right? Sounds good. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Chris. Well, streaming music